Here's how I tricked Final Cut Pro into tracking masks with four, why didn't I think of that, techniques. First, I'll show you how to draw a custom tracked mask, and then I'll show you how to highlight an object. After, I'll demo this low key method for tracking custom shapes like hearts and arrows that no one is talking about. And at the end, I'll hook you up with a free effect for quickly adding a trackable shape mask. Mask and you shall receive. First, I need to add a tracker to my clip. So I'll go over to the inspector. If it's not open, click on this button up here with the three sliders and scroll to the bottom where it says trackers and then click on the plus button. Change the analysis method to machine learning and on the viewer, adjust your tracker to what you want to track. I'm gonna track this surfer, so I'll make a small square around him and then I'll press analyze. And then I want to rename this tracker. I'll double click on the name and we'll put in surfer. Now we need to add a custom color generator. Go to the title and generators inspector by clicking on this button up here and scroll down to the generator section and go to solids. Drag and drop this solid custom generator and then go to your end of your clip with the generator select and press option right bracket to trim it. Now in the viewer, right click and select transform and click this little arrow next to tracker and make sure your tracker source matches up with the clip you've tracked and then select your tracker. Click this arrow again and deselect rotation. Now let's add a draw mask. Open up the effects browser by clicking on this button here and scrolling down to the mask section and drag and drop draw mask onto your solid color. Now draw a custom mask by clicking and adding mask points. If you click and drag, you can add some curve to it. All right, we'll just draw some random shape. There we go. We can tweak that shape as well after by moving these control points around. There we go. All right, so we can see that our custom draw mask has been tracked to the surfer, nice. In the inspector, change blend mode to stencil alpha. And now you'll see that this mask cuts out anything below it. So let's duplicate this bottom layer by holding down option and click and drag up. Select the color solid and the duplicate layer and turn them into a compound clip by pressing option G. Give it a name and press OK or hit enter. Let's add some effects to this to show the mask and its tracking. Open up the effects browser and go down to stylize and add bad TV to the top layer, the compound clip, and then let's add half tone to the bottom clip. We'll click done and let's play this back. Oh man, this is like a nightmare from the 1990s. But you can see that we have a mask, a custom shaped mask, and it's tracking and moving. I can't wait to show you how to track those custom mask shapes like arrows and hearts. But first, I wanna show you how to quickly highlight an object in your video clip using a trackable mask. Okay, we're gonna use the same clip of the surfer and use the tracker that I did earlier. With the surfer tracked, let's go up to the color inspector and let's add a color correction. We'll add a color board. Click on this button here and select add shape mask and let's connect the tracker. In the viewer, click on this arrow going down and select our surfer tracked tracker. Then click on it again and deselect rotation and scale. Let's change the size of our shape mask. I'm gonna hold down shift and click on one of these control points. And then I'm gonna make it kind of squarish shape. And let's turn down the feather quite a bit. There we go. And let's put it right over our surfer. And I'm gonna hold down shift again and just make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, now in the inspector here, let's click on inside and let's click on saturation and let's increase the saturation. And let's go to exposure and let's increase that a little bit as well. And let's pull the shadows down a little bit and the highlights up. Now click on outside and go back to saturation and pull it all the way down so that's black and white. Well, let's check it out. Sweet, we got our surfer highlighted, the rest of it's black and white, so he really pops off the screen. 
In just a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to get that free effect so that you can apply a trackable shape mask like that. But first, I wanna show you how to track different shapes like hearts and arrows. All right, let's track our surfer. So go to elements in generators and drag and drop shapes onto the viewer and put it around the object you wanna track. In the timeline, let's reposition the clip and shorten it to match the section we're gonna track. Select it, turn it off by pressing V, and then right click and select transform. Let's move our tracker right over the surfer and let's make it a little bit smaller. And then let's press analyze. Now we can turn the circle back on and we'll see that it's tracked with the surfer. Nice. Click in the viewer and on tracker, let's remove rotation. Select the generator in the timeline and go to the generator inspector and let's change it from circle to arrow. Let's turn off our outline and let's turn the drop shadow down. Click back in the viewer and select transform. Click and drag on one of these corners to make the arrow smaller and let's rotate it to point at the surfer and reposition it. There we go. Press done. And now our arrow is tracked to our surfer. All right, let's duplicate this base clip by holding down option and clicking and dragging up. And I want to make a mask with this arrow and I wanna have a texture behind it. So I'm gonna add this texture that I downloaded earlier. All right, let's add this texture below our arrow and let's trim it option right bracket and select the arrow and under video inspector let's set the blend mode to stencil alpha now select the arrow the texture and the duplicate clip and turn them into a compound clip with option g name it press enter go into the compound clip and select the texture Right-click, select Transform, and we need to add the tracker to that texture. So we'll select Tracker and go Object Track, and we'll click again and we'll turn off Rotation, and then press Done. All right, go back to the main timeline and let's watch it. Sweet, we've masked out that texture with an arrow and it tracks the surfer. What's cool about this technique is we can quickly change the shape. So we'll go back into the compound clip by double clicking on it, select the shape generator, go to the inspector and let's try a heart. We'll go back to video inspector and let's set the rotation to zero. And then we click back here and now we have a heart following our server. Very cool. I have to mask for a favor. If you're enjoying this video, if it's been helpful and you're learning how to track masks, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find it? Thank you. Now I'm gonna hook you up with that free effect for quickly adding trackable shape masks. So select your clip, hold down option, click and drag down to duplicate your clip. Go to the effects browser and go to masks and drag and drop that track mask effect onto your top clip. Select the bottom clip and disable it by pressing V. All right, in the inspector, go up to the video inspector and under effects where it says track mask, click on this button and add a shape mask. Click on that button again and invert it. Click on tracker and adjust your tracker to be around your object. So we'll put it around our surfer here and then press analyze. Click on the arrow next to tracker and set tracker to object track. Then click on shape and in the inspector, click on this button next to it, this little down arrow and disable rotation and scale. Now you can adjust your shape. We'll make it a smaller circle and we can reposition it and let's tweak the feathering. Select the bottom later, enable it and go to the effects browser. Go to basics and add negative to the bottom clip. And in the inspector, enable linear invert. Oh, that's freaky looking. Let's take a look at what we've got. Very cool. What's great about this technique is you can quickly change the mask shape. So maybe I want it more oval 
or maybe I want it like a rectangle. It's easy to do with the on-screen controls. Now that you're a mask tracking pro, I thought you might like to learn how to make a slideshow in Final Cut Pro. I put together my top favorite ways for creating a slideshow in Final Cut Pro into this video. Check it out.